Brendan Henry here, and do you want to increase the work capacity of your lungs? Well, if you're serious about biohacking and optimizing your body, you should really be aware of everything that Sean Luton can do. If you're new here, I'm Brendan Henry, the world's leading expert in peptide science. I've got a reputation for the most scientifically accurate penny lawn video and article on the entire internet, proven with over 100 citations. I obsess over the accuracy of the information I convey so that you can use peptides appropriately and get the best results possible. Today, we're diving into Chun Luton, the ultimate lung bioregulator that is crucial for athletes, mountain climbers, or anyone with lung problems, such as smokers or those looking to reduce the effects of aging on the lungs. It was discovered in the mucosal lining of the lungs, to be exact, and the Cytomax product is Taxo Rest, and Chun Luton is present in Taxo Rest at concentrations 4.5 times higher than bronchogen, which is the lesser known lung peptide, which just isn't as good as Chun Luton. And by the way, Chun Luton is a glue-asp gly. So when researchers looked at a culture of old bronchial cells, they found that there was a very high expression of P16, which is a marker that's associated with cellular senescence and apoptosis. So the lung cells were actually dying and becoming more senescent. So it was losing, they were losing a lot of their lung function. And when they added Chun Luton to the culture, the markers of P16 were reduced by a factor of three times. And that brought it close to the level of lung cells that were young lung cells. So it's very protective to the lungs under aging and adverse factors. But Chun Luton also has some anti-hypoxin effects. And this is something that Penelon also has, by the way, minus the lung-specific benefits. So if you haven't heard about Penelon, check out my video on Unyielding Vigor YouTube channel or Spotify. Or just go to my website at unyieldingvigor.com resources. Anyway, in one study, they put humans inside of a hypobaric chamber, and this can be used to simulate high altitudes because it lowers the oxygen levels, and it can do so very rapidly. And so the researchers simulated an altitude of 15,000 feet, which, by the way, is as high as Mount Kilimanjaro. And so these people were not given any supplementary oxygen, and there was one group that was taking this Chon Luton, and then the other group was the placebo. They weren't on anything. And so uh, they tested reactive anxiety, and they found that it decreased by 13% in the Chon Luton group, while it increased by 10% in the placebo group. And then they also checked heart rate, and they found that the increase in heart rate was 10 to 20% on the peptide group, compared to 20 to 40% on the placebo group. And there was also a doubling of physical work capacity that was calculated in the Chon Luton group. And they measured this by uh, just the Chon Luton group had a reduced maximum oxygen consumption. And so this just goes to show how good Chon Luton is for the lungs and also for stress. In fact, Covinson has a patent on Chon Luton specifically for stress protective effects, which I believe is huge in today's world. So I'd like to tell you a story because I've personally been through quite a lot of stress and the impacts of it cannot be understated. So it was in the mid-19th century when Hans Seel introduced the general adaptation theory, which talks about how stress always produces adrenal hyperactivity, uh, lymphatic atrophy, and peptic ulcers. And this has devastating consequences, such as reduced quality of sleep, which can lead to lower dopamine and testosterone levels, reduced immune function, and poor digestion. And back in 2019, I was left with a lot of stress and anxiety. When my engineering business shut down under the weight of COVID lockdowns and supply chain disruptions. So I've experienced it firsthand, and it's my hope that by sharing this research with you on Sean Luton, that you'll be able to use it to your advantage as well. So how does it protect against stress? Well, first it leads to an increase in brain monoamines, including serotonin, dopamine, and noradrenaline. However, these are decreased peripherally. Now, the research paper by Covinson doesn't mention exactly how it does this, but it does state that it restores CFOS in the PVN under stress, which means that it restores the sensitivity. And the PVN is a region in the hypothalamus which controls many different hormones related to metabolic regulation, appetite, sexual functioning, etc., and it receives innervation from monoamines. So, it is my theory and I just want to make it clear that this is just a theory based on my extensive biohacking knowledge that it modulates AADC, which is what facilitates the last step in neurotransmitter synthesis. So when you consume like an amino acid such as tryptophan, 
It's converted into 5-HTP by tryptophan hydroxylase, and then serotonin by AADC. And similarly, when you consume tyrosine, it's converted into L-DOPA by tyrosine hydroxylase, and then into dopamine by AADC. So if Chon Lutin modulates AADC, it would explain how these monoamines are increased in the brain, yet they're decreased peripherally. And it would also explain the restoration of CFOS to the PVN. And also, Chon Lutin inhibits enkephalinase, which gives rise to endogenous enkephalins. And these are natural opioids that have feel-good and pain-relieving effects. And this is something that CMAX also does, by the way. But don't worry, because studies show that endogenous enkephalins do not induce condition place preference, which means there is no addiction potential to it. And sunlight also increases endogenous enkephalins, for example. And it could be uh, what's partly responsible for the mood-boosting effects of sunlight. And so, by restoring brain monoamines and enkephalins, Chon Lutin seems to have a stress protective effect, which also helps to keep your pineal gland functioning. Because, you see, another consequence of stress is that it impairs your pineal gland through reducing tyrosine hydroxylase, uh, P75 neurotrophic factor, and alpha tubulin. And these markers are absolutely necessary for optimal pineal gland functioning, because when they get impaired, your pineal gland becomes denervated and CFOS, which is a marker of sensitization, drops. And this is why it's hard to get good quality sleep when you have chronic stress, because your entire circadian rhythm and your endogenous melatonin production just gets all messed up. So interestingly, Chon Lutin does have some pineal gland restorative effects, but only under the effects of stress. Because it was shown to restore CFOS to the pineal gland, therefore bringing its functioning back online. And even though it's not the pineal gland regulator, like endolutin and epitalin are, it could synergize with them if you're experiencing a lot of stress. And the last thing I want to cover is how Chon Lutin is benefiting the stomach, and particularly those who have gastric ulcers. So H. pylori is one of the most common types of bacterial infections, which lead to gastric ulcers, gastritis, and potentially even stomach cancer in the long term which, by the way, colon cancer rates have been increasing in younger people, according to one study. And it's also estimated that 30 to 40 percent of people in the United States are infected with H. pylori. Now, there are ways to treat the infection, typically with antibiotics like amoxicillin or clindamycin. However, these antibiotics are just used to clear up the infection. And there was a study where they induced gastric ulcers in mice through infecting them with H. pylori. And one group got clindamycin, and the other group got Chon Lutin. And it was shown that the Chon Lutin group had a complete re-epithelialization of the gastric ulcers in only 21 days. This even beat the clindamycin group. This is huge. So if you have any stomach issues or ulcers, then Chon Lutin is something you would definitely want to take. Even though it's the lung bioregulator, it still has these beneficial effects on the stomach. Even though the stomach-specific peptide would be Stamacort. And so if you want to purchase Chon Lutin, it's available on VitaStreams. I've personally spent thousands of dollars with VitaStreams over the past year. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Brennan Henry, the world's leading expert in peptide science, giving you a detailed breakdown of Chon Lutin. Now, if you found this overview helpful or interesting, then please share it with others and subscribe because there will be more great content coming soon. And for a complete mastery course on peptides, you can go to peptides.unyieldingvigor.com.